Starting with version 0.1.3, Unimus provides the ability to import devices into the system. The most basic import is the address list import. Here I need to provide a comma or semicolon separated list of addresses and Unimus will add all of the addresses in the list to my devices. Spaces will automatically be removed, so you don't need to worry about formatting. The default schedule will be used to backup all of the devices. I will just paste a list I'd have prepared here, click import, and we should see that all of the addresses were added to my devices. You can see that they are being discovered, and as mentioned, will be backed up on the default schedule. You also have the ability to import a .csv file. This can be used to import devices as well as descriptions. The CSV file should contain a device and its description, separated by a comma, with each device description pair on a separate line. Here is an example CSV file. We also have the ability to ignore the first line of the file, which is usually a description. I will import this CSV file, press import, and we should see that some of the devices were added, while others were detected as duplicates. If I go into my devices now, I can see the one unique address was imported from the file. This is of course because other IP addresses were already present in the system. Next we have imports from NMS systems. Unimus currently supports connection to NetXMS and Zabbix over their respective APIs. To import from NetXMS, you need to configure the connection information for your NetXMS server. You also have the ability to run the import on a schedule, which will make Unimus synchronize devices with your NMS automatically as configured by the schedule. You will need to provide a list of containers, so I will provide the containers from which I want to import my devices from into Unimus. If you needed to import from multiple containers, you would simply input one container name per line. In my particular configuration, I only have one container from which I want to import. I will do a save and run sync now, and as previously, we should see our devices successfully imported and being discovered. Here I can see that currently I have 22 discoveries running, and Unimus is discovering all of the devices. If for some reason your import fails, you will get an error message, and you should also see the details of the failure in the failed jobs log on the dashboard. To import from Zabbix, the procedure is very similar to NetXMS. I will configure my Zabbix connection information. Again, you have the option to import devices from Zabbix on a schedule, which will synchronize your Unimus against your Zabbix as configured by the schedule. You will need to provide a list of Zabbix groups to import devices from, one per line. Here I will import from two groups. I will again do a save and run sync now, and my devices should be imported. As previously, if an import fails for some reason, I will see the cause of the failure in the failed jobs log on the dashboard. For more information on Unimus, Join us on our forums at forum.unimus.net.